Hi, I'm Betty Alkazian, and welcome to Balanced Parenting. Today we're going to talk about how to teach your child to sleep through the night. There are many methods out there and books written on this subject. It can be a fairly controversial subject, so this is strictly my opinion after years and years of working with families, not to mention teaching my own kids to sleep through the night. For many babies, this method actually works in just three nights. A lot of parents are worried about letting their babies cry it out for fear that their baby will feel abandoned or lose trust that their caregivers are there for them. It is so hard to hear your baby cry and not make it all better. But as long as your child is otherwise well, stay focused on the goal and that is a good night's sleep for everyone in your house. Remember, babies that learn healthy sleep habits are likely to have healthy sleep habits for life. You know that bad habit you've created by having ice cream every night before bed? The habit is similar for babies. They no longer really need that middle of the night feeding for proper growth around six months of age, but they still wake up because their bodies say, it's time for my feeding. Just like our bodies tell us that the ice cream is beckoning from the freezer. We have to help our babies to break the habit of that middle of the night feeding. It's uncomfortable for everyone, but only for a short time. I typically see babies cry for around 45 minutes the first night before falling asleep on their own. Then the second night, it should only take around 20 minutes. And then by the third night, everyone is sleeping all night. It works that simply for many, but not for everyone. Don't worry if it takes a number of nights. Of course, don't let your baby cry for an unreasonable amount of time. Some parents like to go in periodically and give the baby a pat on the back and a little reassurance just to make sure that nothing else is going on with your child. Sometimes there are other things going on, so make sure that there are no other reasons for your baby's cries before attempting the cry it out method. If you know your baby is fed, dry, healthy, and there are no other complicating factors, and you're comfortable with this method, then commit to it fully for those three nights. There are times when sleeping through the night may get derailed, even after your baby has already been doing it for a period of time. Teething, a cold, travel, schedule changes, and lots of other things can wake babies up. But fear not, just get your baby back on track as soon as possible and don't fall back into bad habits. The sooner you get back on track, the sooner everyone is sleeping well again. Babies aren't the only ones who need help to go to sleep on their own. Toddlers often struggle to transition from day into nighttime. They're convinced that you're having a big party without them once they're in bed and they don't want to miss it. Who can blame them? I don't want to miss a party either. The goal is to help ease them with the bedtime routine from activity to rest, slowing the energy down, using darkness and a quiet voice. Reading books and low energy activities such as singing, reviewing the day, saying prayers, or doing a gratitude ritual are all great ways of getting into a sleepy space. Help ease your toddler almost all the way to sleep and then leave for them to fall asleep on their own. If she gets out of bed, simply walk her back, even if it's 50 times. Don't say a word and don't get mad. Your emotional energy will feed that behavior and encourage your little one to keep getting up. Make sure there's no payoff and eventually she will give up. Here's wishing you all a good night's rest. I'm Betty Alkazian. I'll see you again soon on Balanced Parenting. Thank you.